video, as you can see, we have the Verizon C band tower, but it has me a little, it has me thinking a little bit. Is this like a multi panel? Because I know for sure it's the Air, the Ericsson 6449 uh, B77D panel, but we're getting CBRS. The more I point at the tower, see the RSRP values are the same PCI 364. PCI, where is it? Band 60. There we go. Everything, yeah, 364 all around. So, what we're going to do is we're going to continue testing this. And I discovered something with the range on this macro. This macro has really good range. So, we're going to get in the car. We're going to start it up. And then we're going to go drive. And we're going to see how long our signal lasts before we end up losing a uh, full CBRS signal. So what I'm gonna do on here on this phone is I'm gonna have YouTube playing so then it keeps the bandwidth loaded. So let me just uh, play some videos here. We'll just have some videos playing in the background. So then it gives us all the bandwidth that we need. Let's see here. So there we go. Hold on, let me uh, let me minimize the video right there. So it gives us our band 48 right there. Hold on a second, guys. I'll be right back. Guys, so sorry about that. Ended up getting a phone call. So what we're gonna do here is I'm gonna. Hold on, I forgot to do this. So this thing don't keep beeping like crazy because if you don't put this, the belt on, it just keeps beeping and beeping. All right, so we're gonna start leaving. As you can see, our signal is still pretty, still pretty so pretty strong. We're connected to PCI 364. We're connected to the gamma sector right now of the tower. So let's see here. So just to let you guys know, this tower is here on the corner of Warren Springs and Las Vegas Boulevard. If you're in Vegas, there you go. Now you know. Okay, so we're gonna make a uh, left going onto the Las Vegas Boulevard, heading towards the Vegas Strip. So let me roll up the window here a little bit because we don't want the, the cops to, to see us here. So look, oh damn, we're connected to N52. So we got N5 10 megahertz on top of our four 20 megahertz so 10, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100 megahertz of spectrum right here. So let's do a quick little speed test too while we're at it. 17 ping, seven jitter. So we're looking at tool six down. And 17.3 on the upload, which is not bad. All right, so let me go back to the, to the service menu here. Okay, because all we care about right now is the connection of the CBRS. So we are still on PCI. Okay, so now it's switching to PCI 363, which is alpha, alpha sector of the tower. So we got still our 40 megahertz of CBRS. I think we lost our N5. Yep, we lost our N5 connection, which is fine. We don't care about that. So let's, let me do a speed test here on the other phone while we check out what the signal is. So let's see here. So this is 30 ping, 60 jitter, and this is LTE only. 374 down. This thing just will not shut up about idling, dude. Oh, so many damn notifications, man. Jesus. 
by 13.2 on the upload. Now we're passing the I-15 overpass and we disconnected from CBRS, but I know it'll reconnect right here. There we go. Boom. Reconnected PCI 363, so we're still on the alpha sectors of the tower site with a negative 102 RSRP. connecting and disconnecting so what i'm going to do is i'm going to make a left on sunset head towards the i-15 sunset exit overpass and then we'll see if it reconnects to that same tower or if it doesn't we're about let me see here let me do pull up a map and see how far we are from the tower site So right now, this is where the tower is at in the parking lot of the home plate grill. So, oh man, Jesus. So it says it's about 1.1 miles away. So we started losing connection around right here and then it picked it back up. Then we lost it again right here. So we say about 0.9 miles, which is not bad. So almost a mile. CBRS connection. So, all right, our light just turned green right now. Let's make this left. And 66. PCI 198. So, we're connected to another tower. So, yeah, guys, this just shows you right here. So, we're looking at about, let's say, a 0.9 mile connection for the CBRS, which is not bad. That's all I wanted to do was show you guys that Verizon is improving the CBRS connection. So they're getting it to beam form or whatever they're doing and it's getting it to spread out more, which is always nice. So it shows that the CBRS is going to be a game changer for them. All right, guys, thank you for tuning in for this video. Just wanted to show you guys that and we'll catch you in the next one. Peace. Thank you for tuning in. Remember to hit the like, share, and subscribe button. Be sure to hit the notification bell so you're always notified when we upload content. Have a great one. Peace.